showtime! It's showtime! Hey everybody, welcome to the Epic Radio Show. Hello. I am your host, Epic. Um, we have Ashley over here, who Hi. keeps hitting her mic for some fucking reason. Because I suck. <laughs> That's just what it is. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. And then we got the one they call Tokar in the house. Welcome. Sorry I was fashionably late today. Oh yeah, my goodness! Shinobly. Like sorry. literally, just walked in the door. That's why we're a little late. So yeah, sorry about that. Tokar. God damn it! We have a great show for you today. Uh, we have an interview with uh, TJ Monachino. He is the owner of the Cleveland Fusion. Um, plus, we're going to talk about dolphin rape. Oh, we're yeah. going to talk about Modern Family. <laughs> we're going to be playing with some balls later. Dolphin Crazy rape. news. Oh, uh, talk about this weird That's prank text I've been getting lately. Yeah, oh, you got funny. T- who's pranking you? I don't know. We're not sure. I don't know, but I'll, I'll go over that. We will and talk then, about um, it. It's a special day. We have a outside segment. Uh, from the Ugly Broad. And I can't wait to see it's it. It's called um, uh, The Ugly Truth. Uh, <laughs> Tokar gets to interview some patrons there. Yeah, uh, buddy. Uh, we're going to have some giveaways today. The Ugly Broad blessed us upon some shirts. So we're going to be giving away some shirts today. Uh, three times this show. Three times. Hello. Three times. That's what me. the fuck is going on? I put it on Not you. Me. Are Don't you kidding me? me. It is you, isn't no, it? No, no it it's me. You You're legit. It was legit me. Oh my I god! I swear to God, I put my phone on mute, and it still doesn't like. Why yeah. are you on your phone? Because. Why? Because you're. Because. Oh my goodness! All right. Anyways, <laughs> so we got tow cars still looking there. Let's see. Looking professional. And- yeah, styling and profiling. Ugly broad T-shirt. Thank you. We're gonna so go much. right into it, but first. Uh, I just want to do our little pluggy plug, you know what I'm saying? Pluggy plug. Uh, follow really? us on Twitter and Facebook at Epic Music Radio. Uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Uh, just look up the Epic Radio Show. Instagram, Epicness216. We're also on Twitch. So follow us there. Um, oh, Jesus. The Epic Radio Show on Twitch. The picture is funny. I just Why? saw a picture. I'm oh, yeah. Learn today. <laughs> uh, we're going we're gonna to talk about this right My now, God. though. Hey, Lily, Allison, and Tommy. So they were, we're going to talk hi. about dolphin rape. We're it's wrong, about- mister. It is wrong. It's it is wrong. fucking wrong. Yeah, it's pretty wrong. <laughs> Why would someone rape a dolphin? No, no, no. No, no. Dolphin. no the dolphins rape other motherfuckers. What, what do I've been do? saying this for years, okay? Yes, he's been saying I have this been for a long time. a pro advocate of fuck you dolphins, you're evil. Oh, God. Well, they're, they're intelligent. Ant- they're mammals, yes. right? Yes. They are man. They are mammals. That is they, correct. They what, are, are they raping animals. random swimmers? Or yes, that's. The, I thing is, I think you showed me an article a while, like years ago, about dolphins doing the raping and the stuff. But I still well, love them. You know, the thing is, they rape all the fucking time. They have Please rape caves. Your mind. <laughs> they have rape caves. Have you ever heard of this? No. No. So okay. So listen. Explain this about the dolphins. So dolphins um, are are rapists. Like they're they're like the Bill Cosby's of the water. You put the booty with the fudge and the booty pops. You know what I'm saying? For me, dolphins are like symbolize peace and they're like lovable animals. They're sweet and like beautiful creatures and they're smart. And, and Tommy's just saying, like, they're rapists. They're, they're, they they're are. rape you. So, look, this is what they do. They gang up on you, right? Right. They gang up on you. But who's getting raped by dolphins? Uh, swimmers? <laughs> in the fucking ocean? <laughs> what are they doing in the ocean? If you've ever been raped by a dolphin, please raise your hand right now. So we know oh, about the, the dolphin rapage. In your innocent arm. animals. <laughs> You know? They're not innocent. This is what I've been trying to say for years. You guys are ridiculous. This is. <laughs> I still love them. This is what I've been trying to say for years. They're going extinct, and I feel bad for them, you know? We need dolphins, you know? I love dolphins. Dolphins are the bomb. We don't need dolphins. Dolphins are the bomb. 
Just they saying. are Devon. evil creatures that deserve to die. They're dying off. Oh my off. god! And I think we you? should. Dude, them. they. Dude, this is what they do. Okay, so they gang up god, on so unsuspecting women, right? Mm-hmm. They take them underwater, rape them, and then suffocate them, and they drown. How many people have died by office? I don't have specific numbers, I, I Tokar. A, I think that's statistics. <laughs> I, I don't have really specific low. numbers oh on this. God. It's not like there's statistics out there like, oh, every year, 29 women get raped by dolphins. But it happens, mister, and it's wrong. That's so funny to me. <laughs> Why? Because you're so adamant about the dolphins raping Why? people. Why? Why? <laughs> because, man, this is a scandal that has yet to break. I think there's more beer attacks than there's dolphin rapes. You know what? Fuck you, Tokar. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I dolphin. don't... Good morning, Kevin. Good morning, everyone who said hi. Hey, I did say morning. it. I did say it. Just saying. Tokar, what, what's, what's you, you are really frustrating me today. What's oh. the problem with the... Uh... Because you're... you're, you're you keep moving, so I have to adjust oh, the chroma key. Chroma Stay key. still forever. Key. Stay still and don't talk about the dolphins. No, listen. Talk about the dolphins, but there needs to be an anti-dolphin oh, movement right no. now. Like, That's can the up. motherfuckers. You know no, what I'm saying? No, no they're, they're in the danger of animals. We need to oh, yeah, they're endangered the my ass. You. They're in danger of raping again. Oh, my God. I love dolphins. I don't know. I'm just saying. You've told me this years ago, and I'm just like, Mm, I still love dolphins. They're, they're actually smart animals. They're they, one of the smartest animals. That's how they know how to rape. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> they're they're one of the few animals that them, actually though. have sex for pleasure. And you know what they do? They actually now this this is not just with humans. They rape their own kind. Okay. <laughs> so what they will do, right, <laughs> is they will hound another female dolphin and they will gang rape that motherfucker. And then if she's pregnant and has a baby, they will kill the baby so that they can rape her again to get her pregnant again. Yes, that's probably why they're endangered, because they're evil. I didn't know about that. Wow. Yes. He's like, oh, oh my God. I am very, very well versed in the... He's very passionate about this. In, in the dolphin rape But don't they have like a language? Category, what? They, they have a language. They have a language of rape? <laughs> I guess. If language was a rape, they fucking mastered it. Oh my god. They they have like um Rosetta Stone for rape. Okay? Rosetta Stone for rape. Oh. Nice. <laughs> so what's the hate for the dolphins? Because I hate dolphins! He I just, hate them! He just does. I hate them. Because they rape I hate people. them with he's, everything in me. I feel like he's been raped by a dolphin. And he's I have not been raped by a dolphin. It. I feel like that's why you're so strongly about this. I have known about this for years. And everybody wants to look on their fucking television sets and look at these dolphins like Flipper. Fuck Flipper! Oh my god. Fuck Echo the Dolphin on Genesis. Yeah, you're I remember nuts. that game. Like, god damn it. You are bananas. Bananas. Okay, let's see. Tommy Parker said, "Okay, why isn't there a shark equals dolphin?" LOL. Access denied. Access denied. I don't, I don't understand. What's the question? I don't know. It, I'm just reading don't, it for don't, what don't, it don't, is. Don't. I don't know. Anyways, I'm very passionate about this. And guess what? Yes, it's so. time for a motherfucking. I don't know. Break. Is it time for a motherfucking? No, it's time break? for a giveaway. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Call us at 216-584-5718. We will get you one of these nice, ugly, broad t-shirts right now. Call, now. call now. Call it. Call it. Do it. We're ready. I dare you to call. This is a surprise one. You, you didn't expect me to give away so early in the show, huh? Call the other now. two will about be the unsuspected. I think Tommy's asking why dolphins, like, why aren't there more cases of, like, dolphins killing sharks? Because sharks will murder them. I don't understand. Like... That's a weird question. Like, obviously, they're not predators in that sense. They don't have sharp teeth like that. They just like fucking with their own shit and people. Yeah, basically. Because people are like, oh, it's such a pretty dolphin. And then it's like, no, I'm raping you. And then it's like, exactly. no. Exactly. I mean, that picture says a And then the other dolphin words. late, the other female dolphins are just like, you know what? Fuck this. I don't, whatever. Yeah. It is what it is at this point. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm just saying. Somebody's hungry AF. That's crazy. Okay. Um, what? I don't know if they've gotten this. 216-584-5718. Win a free t shirt. We have all sizes available. You can say the We got uh, medium, large, extra that's large, two XL, I think like three XL too. Like goddamn. She hooked us up with a lot of shirts. She hooked us up, dog. 
a lot of shirts. So a lot of shirts, y'all. Fucking call in to win this, um, so I can move the fuck on. Call or be is everyone called. sleeping? I don't. I don't What's get going this. on, guys? What's going on? Nobody wants to win this hey, shirt. Tommy Parker, call. Jesus Christ, Tommy! Out of everybody, you goddamn! Know, it's a free T-shirt. He doesn't want to call us today. He's not feeling us today, probably because we're talking about dolphin, right? We we touched up. Well, we hit you a, know what? We're gonna take a break. Subject. When we take a break, we're gonna um. When we get back, we're gonna have our conversation with TJ Monacino. Monacino. Maybe during the break, one of you motherfuckers will call. Who knows? Who knows? Well, we don't know. But this is what call now. This it's is how we do some, right supplies now. Supplies are running out. So get a while last. All right. <laughs> uh, we'll be right back on the Epic Radio Show. Keep it locked right we'll here. We'll be back. Welcome back to the Epic Radio Show. Uh, first, I want to do our little pluggy plug. We're going to do um, uh, follow us on Twitter, Facebook at Epic Music Radio. Yeah, right I know, I'm like going nuts. Um, fucking dolphins, that's what it is, man. There's okay, no- so <laughs> <laughs> uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel as always, the Epic Radio Show. Uh, Instagram, Epicness216. And follow us on Twitch now at the Epic Music Radio. Epic hates dolphins. Um, Epic hates mm-hmm. dolphins. That is our new hashtag. No, it's not. It is. No, it's not. Hashtag Epic hates dolphins. That's okay. Terrible. Anyways, um, our guest for today, he is the owner of the Cleveland Fusion. Um, we'd like to welcome to the show TJ Monacino. Hello. Hey guys. How are Hello. You? Hey, what's going on, How's buddy? It? What's happening? Oh man, you know, good morning so far. That's yeah, good. been listening to the my my little dolphin, rape, dolphin rant. rape rampage. <laughs> I did. I, uh, I, like, I'm yeah. with your wife, I think. <laughs> yeah. Hey, hey, I'm just spreading the word. That's all. He doesn't. He's not trying to. That's all. Make everyone. I'm just trying know. to educate. This is what we do on the Epic Radio Show. Well, weird <laughs> ass shit. Yeah, don't don't go in the middle of the ocean. You might. <laughs> That's right. Kind of dangerous. You know. Plan your vacations better. Okay. Um. Anyways. Plan your vacations better. <laughs> so, let's talk about you. I'm not dolphin rape. Um. Yeah. Let's talk about you. <laughs> so you recently had a birthday. Um. Last weekend, mm-hmm. Sunday. So happy belated yeah, birthday. Happy belated birthday. Yeah. Um. It. And you were the owner of the Cleveland Fusion. Let Let's talk about a little bit about like how you got into actually owning this team and what drove you. To wanting to own a women's professional football team. Yeah, it's actually kind of a, an odd story. So I uh, I own a business that sells office supplies, and so uh, we have been growing that business by buying other businesses. And so I'm on this weird website that posts businesses for sale, and uh, I like randomly see this thing that says like women's professional team. Oh, that's kind of cool. Mm-hmm. So I call the guy and. Uh, he ends up being the former head of the unions uh, for Cleveland. And uh, his daughter was the quarterback, and he'd owned the team for 10 years or so. And uh, we actually met at Denny's. (laughs) Wow. And uh, kind of hashed out a deal, and um, off we went. And it was was much quicker than I thought it was going to happen. I thought I was going to do this big throwing-out thing, and the guy was done. He was ready to move on. And, uh, yeah. So, I am also not a huge sports person, which makes us even more yeah. funny. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, it, it was a little bit surprising to everybody that asked. But, um, yeah, it's been a fun couple of years, I have to say. It, it is way more than I thought it was. And, uh, you know, it's a lot of fun. I mean, things like this are one of the best reasons why, like, this team is a unique, unique uh, business. And, uh, you know, I'm having a lot of fun. Well, I I've been to a couple shows. Me and Tokar, at least. I don't. I don't think actually yeah. has. Um, we we enjoyed it. We thought it was great. Um, if you have not been to a fusion football game, um, it is definitely uh, a special experience because 
uh, these ladies, man, they really give it their all on the field. Yeah, I mean that's pretty much the like the best way to put it. They uh, they're a unique group. They are um, you know basically range from ages of seventeen to fifty something. Yeah, and, um, they range in, um, in income levels. They range in sexuality. They range uh, in just about every uh, way that you could you know break someone down. And the thing yeah. that is amazing is that you know. You're right. They come together on this team, put all of that stuff aside, and play their hearts out. And it's pretty amazing, you know. And they're not getting paid millions of dollars to go out and play football, so they're not mm-hmm. doing it for that. You know, they're doing it to be to go play football. So exactly, and that's what I liked cool. most about it. It's like you could definitely tell it's more of a passion for them and not about a paycheck. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um. Yeah. So. You owning this team, okay? Do you think maybe like going into this, you maybe had your own um, thought thoughts about what it was going to be, your expectations, and how did it change your expectations once you actually owned the team? Uh, yeah, we definitely going into it thought that um, there was more structure, I would say, within the organization, and so we had this idea that we'd be able to kind of take what was there and then lay on our ideas and that really was not the case. It was a lot of work that we had and so we have been crying for the last couple of years just trying to get a baseline where we could mm-hmm. start implementing some of the strategies that we put together. Um, but at the same time, I mean, that was also a blessing because it made it so we could walk into something and from the basic ground build it the way we want it. So, you know, the timing of, of getting it all done has taken a little longer than we expected, but mm-hmm. I think the end result will be better just because we're not dealing with a bunch of issues in the past. Yeah. <clears throat> and you actually, um, there's actually a couple of sponsors that I was a little surprised to see. I, like Metro Health actually sponsors you guys. Yeah, so they actually uh, just launched a sports medicine program and they wanted they didn't want the Indians, they didn't want the Browns, they didn't want the Cavs and the reason it was, you know, they are a community hospital built for the people in, in their community and what they said was that they wanted, they didn't want a bunch of players who aren't from here, like they didn't want to invest in that, they wanted to invest in the, in the, in the business or a team that had players from the, from the city and mm-hmm. so we fit that mold pretty well. Obviously, everybody <laughs> is yeah. here. And uh, so we are, um, last year was kind of the, the, we were the first team that wasn't a high school team for them to sponsor. And they have been absolutely incredible. They have put together, um, uh, I mean, but last year we had our largest rookie class since the uh, first year of the Fusion, which was 17 years ago. So we had a whole bunch of players who had never played football or really on a football field. And so um, we had uh, six season-ending injuries. And wow. so this year, they, uh, Metro put a program around our team, putting together nutritionists. Um, we have uh, orthopedic surgeons working to uh, pro- do a bunch of preventative stuff. And then we have... Um, an entire team of uh, trainers who are doing uh, women-specific, football-specific uh, workout regimens to kind of build the strength and knees. And Metro has been the impetus behind all that. I mean, they are investing a ton that of money. Awesome. At a time. That is um, awesome. That's kind of what I like about the team too. It's not like a bunch of people from other states, other uh, areas. It's it's. Pretty much Cleveland people that are in this uh, on this team, yeah. <clears throat> and that's what I liked. That's why our show gravitated towards it too, because we're kind of like that too. We're all from here. We're all pretty much close knit. Uh, we're all friends, or you know, like my wife's on the show. Yeah, I'm not Goldie, his friend. Yeah, Goldie. You know, I've known since <laughs> I was like ten years old, and, and I Tokar. Mean, yeah. Tokar, I, I don't know as long, but we've grown to be pretty good friends um, outside of the show too. But um. You know, that's yeah. why we like your organization, because it seems like you guys are a close-knit, almost family, I would family. call you, you know? Uh, I went yeah. to that signing uh, recently, 
And uh, I was I was really impressed. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. It was. Yeah, it was. Uh, that that is. I mean, I think we're we're both seeing the same thing. It's, you know, our our organization, a club like yours too, is just it's built up from you know a bunch of people who like spending time together and who enjoy you know, putting in the time and the effort to you know turn out a product that you know is hard to do. If you don't want to spend time with those people. Oh yeah, definitely. Uh, <laughs> Oh. So, so yeah, that's it's probably the one thing that most of the people who come on the team don't expect, but it's usually the thing they're the most excited about. They yeah. end up making lifelong friends. Yep. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, and whether they play football or not at the end of the first or second season, they are usually still hanging around the team in some way, <laughs> shape, or form. Yeah. So that's awesome. Um, so what's the future for the fusion? What do, What do you see? Well. Our hope is that um, we can build awareness for women's sports. Is mm-hmm. uh, probably the hardest thing to do. Oh yeah, um, yeah, because yeah, everybody yeah. has this pre- preconceived <laughs> notion that men's sports is the best sports, and that's not necessarily true. No, it's not, and uh, you know it's proved the uh, softball, the college softball world series, is more watched than. Uh, I think it was, you know, any of the, I know any of the men's college baseball sports. Yeah. Um, but it's one of the highest watched TV shows, you know, in sports. And so, you know, there is a market in some places, but people just don't know about it. Yeah. So, yep. you know, well, we're doing our best to can convince, you know, the big <laughs> Fortune 500 companies to put uh-huh. their money where their mouth is and do the best in exactly. sports. Um, and then we're hoping that, you know, the, just having the money behind us is the is the, the catalyst that makes everything else kind of go. And so we're doing our best to get in front of these people and to you know show them the value of investing in us. So awesome, awesome. Well, you have our support. We are going Absolutely. to help you as much as possible by advertising any any and all games. Um, I actually had put a I got in touch with your marketing manager elise um and i created an ad for your uh paint and sip so that's going to be running on the show a little later yep um thank you no problem no problem um you guys have shown great support i I know tommy he's an announcer for you guys and he's He's like our number one fan, yeah, so buddy. Tommy Parker. Uh, he 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 kind of got <laughs> us Tommy together, Dark. you know, and um, said, "Hey, you know, maybe you should talk to them, and maybe." And you know, I'm I'm really glad we did because you guys are really great. You guys have been great with us and uh, supportive of us. Uh, you know, Kevin yeah. Cart, you, 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 even your even your dad. I was talking to him. Um, uh, uh Tom Senior. I was talking to him <laughs> at the the signing, and oh, he he's he's great, man. Yeah, well, thank God for him. He's uh, <laughs> he's basically running the day to day. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So shout out to him. For yeah, him. definitely. Yeah. Shout out to <laughs> the pops. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So yeah. Well, I I appreciate everything you guys have done. Too. Oh, no you problem. It's no problem at all. Helping us out and. You know, if we can do anything, we're we're always here. Well, like I like I explained before, like um, you know, like we're gonna spread the word. But if you guys can help out, maybe even a little bit of merch that we can give away or sure. tickets, anything like that yep. that you know we can, and uh, let us know events. We'll we'll come to your events. That would be awesome. All yeah. right. Yeah, you can. I appreciate it, guys. It's no thank problem. So and uh, thank you so much for your time. And uh, we will definitely keep in touch, and we're going to try to get some of your players <laughs> on here too and interview them. Yeah, buddy, that would be awesome. That'd be oh, awesome. That's going to be cool. Thank yeah. You. All right. Thank no you. No problem. Okay. When we get back, we're going to be having some crazy news. Crazy uh, news. Keep it locked crazy. right here on the Epic Radio Show. Uh, we shall return, um, motherfucker. Maybe we won't. Yes, we will. Out. Alright everybody, we are back in this motherfucking house. We we didn't yeah, really yeah. leave the house though. Oh shit. I just fucked that up. Ha, I'm just playing. What the fuck was that? What? What the fuck? 
What that thing? That yeah. was that was his oh. anteater or whatever the fuck he, it was. No, it was something. a dolphin. No, I, a dolphin. I, I was playing with the people oh. and thinking we were gonna go back on break, but no, we weren't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, You're I'm so gonna play full mood today. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I guess it's time for that crazy. <laughs> I love Where that the fuck one. was that? Where the fuck was that? He probably just found it. <laughs> you he, motherfucker. He's never used a dolphin thing before. I love dolphins. Fuck dolphins. Fuck you. Fuck it. No, you. Fuck you in your face. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, buddy. That's there. Let's talk about dolphins more often. You get really, like, passionate oh, about it. I do. No, you don't. You, yes, he does. He gets so passionate. All right. Anyways, we are going to do uh, crazy news. Crazy news. Crazy news. <laughs> that's, that's how it is. No. No. <laughs> When crazy shit happens, the Epic Radio Show will be there to report and shit. It's time for crazy news. So, the first story is meth <clears throat> disguised as Aztec calendars seized in California. So, can you repeat that again? That's meth. Meth. Meth was disguised as Aztec calendars. Seized, they were, they were seized in California. Okay, that, for me, to be honest with you, it doesn't make any sense. Well, okay, well, so <laughs> go ahead, go ahead okay, with your well, story. <laughs> well, if this stupid computer would scroll, okay. <laughs> it wasn't, now it's scrolling too much. Federal authorities said eight people were arrested in connection with an alleged scheme to ship meth disguised as Aztec calendars from California to Hawaii. Does what? that make more sense, Tokar? No? Okay. So, <laughs> all right, so they took meth and they made it in the shape of a calendar. The yeah. Aztec calendar. No, Aztec calendars, not like paper not like, calendars. No, not like paper calendars. They're like not stone. Like mon- like, yeah, things. they're stone. So there's like real thick ass. Oh, okay, now. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Can you see it on your screen? You can see a picture of it. Yeah. Just don't if you, have any volume right, on it. Just don't let go cray cray. Yeah. So Anyways, you know, cray go cray. ahead. Anyways, U.S. Immigration and Customs Enforcement Homeland Security Investigation said agents working with the Drug Enforcement Administration and the police department arrested eight people Tuesday after they previously seized about 26 pounds worth of methamphetamine. That's a lot of meth, dog. A lot of meth. A lot of meth. Investigators said the meth was disguised as decorative Aztec calendars and statues as part of an alleged plan to mail the illegal drugs to Hawaii. <laughs> Dude, I give them an A plus for creativity. Good, job. Good fucking A job. plus. I mean, you're gonna have. <laughs> All right, so this is my thing. How the fuck did they find out? It might say it. Because they I look just like it. fucking Aztec calendars. Like yeah, they do. Who would who would think? Oh. These Aztec calendars are not authentic. They're they are actually drugs. meth. Because, you know, they, these motherfuckers that did this, right? They're like, yo, I have the perfect plan, y'all. Perfect. The perfect plan to hide our meth. But it didn't work out. We're going to make them caught. Aztec calendars, bro. Who's done that? Yo, Aztec calendars, son? Who oh does God. that? I don't even know what right? an Aztec calendar looks exactly, like. Exactly, right? <laughs> well, guess what? Everybody ships them as Aztec calendars. <laughs> that that that's the number one the way number one of way. transporting meth is making them into Aztec, Aztec calendars. calendars. He should know. He does it all the time. That's right. Anyways, Bo- <laughs> so they said the suspects had attempted to mail the drugs at the Garden Grove Post Office in July. So that's a fun time. Um, I'm gonna read this, even though it's pretty. You put the meth in the fucking Aztec calendars. Yeah. That, that was yeah. not Bill Cosby at all. No. <laughs> Anyways, method, I'm going to read this even if everyone knows it's true. All right. Methamphetamine, no matter how it's packaged, is a powerful drug that devastates our communities. That's what some guy said. Uh, how, do you, how do you say that? What? Devastates? Devastates? Yeah. Hey, uh, but you know what? There was a purpose. It almost sounded like you said defecate. Yeah, defecates all over your mouth. Well, but they, like, they keep track of time, you know, in the days. The meth, you know. Days yeah. with the meth and the meth and the days. Okay. There, it's That's a the bad thing about meth. It don't add up. So, yeah, it doesn't exactly say how they figured it out or how they started to figure this <laughs> out. It just said um, they will continue to closely collaborate with the federal, state, and local law enforcement partners to keep this dangerous contraband from reaching our streets. I'd like the backstory as to how the fuck they went about figuring out or thinking this could have been meth. Like, how the fuck did that happen? I need more yeah. information on this story. Yeah. Well, I couldn't find it. I guess there was method to their madness. 
<laughs> maybe, <laughs> maybe it fell apart like mouth. real easy. You know, just like as mouth. the calendars are strong, and maybe it dropped, and they're like, "Oh, it's, hi, it's, Rachel." It shouldn't break. Hello, Rachel. Welcome to the show. Hello, welcome. welcome oh to yeah. The show. And Allison said, "Wow, yeah, fucking wow. What the fuck with these motherfucking weird ass people doing weird ass shit, trying to get yeah, met to fucking Hawaii? Are you ready? Fuck." Yeah. The next one? I'm just saying, I was responding to the wow. Oh, man. Yeah, I'm going to read Tommy Parker's comment. Back in the day, they used to send acid through the postage stamps on letters. Well, that's oh, yeah, I do remember that. nuts, too. I mean, I don't remember physically he's, getting he's that. Done but, it. He's totally done it. But I do remember being told about that. Yeah, yes. yeah so, he was so, told. So you can imagine, I was like, told. Licking a stamp and yeah. like, God yeah. damn, what the hell? Yeah, he yeah, was yeah, licking told stamps, about that. <laughs> that's you right, Tokar. Yeah. Anyways. It's going down. Oh, my God. I'm going to lick this stamp, and I'm going to get wasted. Yeah. Get wasted. White girl wasted with acid. White girl wasted with acid. I'm, I'm going to trip yeah. for life. Okay. okay. Why are you tripping, girl? Girl, why are you tripping? <laughs> On right, acid, ahead. girl. Okay. Sorry. Family pleads for return of 50-pound nose sculpture. It's a nose. Uh, yeah. It's a 50-pound nose. It's I don't no really know why. Why are... Like, who tells these stories? Who's that nosy? Ha! <laughs> Gig all these puns today. Yeah. I'm enjoying it. Okay. <laughs> uh, it's like, who stole it? Who knows? Who knows? The, the pop in the pudding. <laughs> the, <laughs> the pop in the pudding. Put the nose in the pudding, the pop. My God, why? <laughs> okay, let me get this story out before you guys keep making jokes. Then you can continue to make jokes. Okay. Okay. Right, this is a really go. short one. Okay, let's go. Um, now the stupid thing's scrolling. Okay, an Oregon family is offering six dollars and twenty seven cents. <laughs> you said Oregon. I keep. I can't help the way I say it. Oh, you're gonna. You're gonna I don't know why This is the Oregon Trail. Well, I can't help how we're, I say we're it. that Oregon going? Right? Should I change the fucking state to make you happy? Like, no, go ahead. Get the fuck out of here. Just say Oregon. No, they're offering. If I read it that way, that's the way I read it. I'm not okay, correcting okay, myself okay, for you. Okay, okay, go. That's why we're not friends. So, <laughs> a six dollar and twenty seven cent reward for the return of a fifty pound no sculpture what? stolen from their front porch of their home. Why the fuck was a no sculpture on your front porch? Why? I know, because if it gets cold, it gets the sniffles. Yeah, it gets like, he's going to get a cold. So they stole it, and they're probably going to take pictures. It's going to be in Paris. It's going to be in Rome. I don't know, but this is a really strange... It's a, I don't know. The Albert family said the two-foot-tall sculpture, which they rescued from being thrown in the trash after a photo shoot, <coughs> has been a fixture on their Portland front porch since last Halloween. But someone stole it Sunday night. Nice. Who wants a giant nose? Other than them. It's just something that we thought was really funny and make us a part of Keep Portland Weird. Uh, you know. I think the only one that can predict that is Nostradamus. <laughs> <laughs> the family is putting up posters for the return of their beloved sculpture. Posters of a giant nose. Yeah. Um, Sayer, I'm not sure if that's how you pronounce this kid's name. He's 11. I don't know how to say his name. Yeah. And his brother, Albert. Are offering yeah. a $6.27 reward for the nose a safe return. Six they said. Seven. They couldn't look round it in. Can you listen? Can, can, can you, you clean the, the nose? Up? I don't want no burgers. In it. <laughs> he might have got cold. He might be have a cold. I don't want him coming back. It might be honor. made out of meth. Oh my God. <laughs> they said they wanted to offer a $2,000 return reward, but their mother voted, you know, vetoed that idea. They're oh, like, oh. Ah. she's like, mm, $2,000. Mm, mm, ah. No, I don't think so. That, that, good job, mom, because. Yeah, I'm sure the dad probably would have went with that. I don't know if the dad's in the picture. <laughs> Maybe they're but... kind of smelly and the nose just wanted to get out of there. I don't know. Like, smell you later. Oh, my God. <laughs> Good Lord. So, yeah, a two-pound giant nose. That is the silliest thing I've heard in a while. Exactly. Maybe... That's why I wanted to do this, read the story, because it's silly as shit. Maybe the nose has, like, a Coke addiction. Coke addiction? Yeah, and so it just... <clears throat> Yeah, I had to give five dollar handies in the bathroom. With what hands? Where are his hands? Oh, my God. oh it grew nose. some. It grew some. Where okay. is his hands? He doesn't have it was hands. gruesome and it grew some. Oh my god, I hate you right now. Where's his hands? Uh, I don't anyways. get it. Okay. Haunted house visitors outraged over mock rape at Akron Freight Festival. Why were they dressed up as <sighs> dolphins? No. Damn dolphins. <laughs> it's weird because I actually picked this story, not because only because it was like like crazy ridiculous, <coughs> but because of the dolphin rape. I was like, oh, this will kind of, Tommy will make a joke about the dolphin rape. And you did. So yeah. I succeeded. Okay. 
So this is like a Who's really fucked Tommy? up situation. I don't know who this Tommy is. Probably Tommy Parker. I don't know. <laughs> is that a dog? Then a dolphin? What are you trying to say? <laughs> no, stay away, Flipper! Oh my god. Stay away from Lassie! Yeah, Allison, nobody knows. <laughs> nobody knows where the nose is. These okay. two are having okay. way too much of a good time. Okay. <laughs> I'll let you get it out. It's okay. All right, no, it's fine. No, it's We're fine. Good. We're good. Okay, no, it's like... Hey, I'm the youngest one like, in this room right now. It's Timmy and a well? It's Timmy and a well? I'm the youngest oh, one in the room. <laughs> oh no, it's Flipper! Get away from him! Yep. Okay, anyway. Still the youngest. We're done. We're done. Yep. Okay, I'm, I'm still the youngest in this room right now. <laughs> okay, we're done. Yep. Okay. I'll remember this when you're trying to do some serious shit and do your shit. I'll make sure I remember. Just saying. Okay. All right. So the we're managing good. partner of Kim Tam Park near Akron, Ohio, said he was shocked and appalled Monday after learning of allegations that employees staged a mock rape in a haunted house on park grounds. Okay. I guess we're not done. That's fine. Right. We're not done. It's okay. We're, we're, I'm going to stop. I'm just going to sit here and look, look at the comments. <coughs> do, do. <laughs> Until we're done. I'm dying, yeah. I don't think we're done, though. We I'm, I'm going to stop. That's, okay. Yeah. No more talk. Okay. Earlier, Sarah, I don't know how to pronounce her last name, told local ABC News affiliate that a man in a mask pushed down her boyfriend, Ryan Carr. That happens to be his name. Nice. While the pair visited Akron Fright Fest at the park, she comes over and yells, Stop, what are you doing? That's my boyfriend. Carr recalled, Oh, was right there? Yeah, Sarah saying. He then described the masked person's response. Not, not anymore. He's mine now. I'm going to rape him. And then nice. he started thrusting against me. Oh yeah. That's kind of fucked up. Why would you say that? So it was a, a dude raping a dude. So yeah, he was mock raping in a like a haunted house type thing. Nice. Um. So, in a statement provided to Huff Post, I know this is a Huffington Post story. Jeremy Cadill said that while investigations into the incident were ongoing, there is no place for anything like that at our park. Obviously, rape is a horrible act. Even a mock rape scene has no place as part of any entertainment. So, basically, according to the park, like, according to the park and the managers and stuff, they're like, we didn't set that up. We had no, you know, there was nobody who was supposed to do any of that because that's not, you know, because there's actually, I guess there's waivers yeah. for adult-only ones and stuff. Yeah. Because it says, according to the park, the Fright Fest consists of three all-age haunted houses and three adult-only that they have to sign. Yeah. You know. The waiver. Yeah. Yep. So, <coughs> you know, they're, you know, and then apparently Sarah and Ryan are adamant that the event occurred in an all-ages haunted house. They're saying it absolutely did happen in an all-ages one, not in an adult-only one. Caudill, Caudwell said <coughs> the employees who worked God in the it. area where the incident allegedly occurred have been suspended. Gotcha. And additional security will monitor the site. There's also another little brief thing here I'm trying to find, so I'm not, like, talking too much about this. Obviously, they said the rape scenario isn't something we thought or made up. We are and have been looking into what happened. Um, there's actually a similar experience to that of a 16-year-old visitor whose mother told Fox 8 that her son was with a group of friends going through three non-waiver houses. So, apparently, these are the all-age ones. Yeah. He said he was thrown onto a mattress by some guy in a pig mask. <laughs> The guy was humping him, demanding wow. he squeal like a pig, and then forcefully took his legs and was trying to pull them apart. This is not something that belongs in a haunted house. Now, I do understand it's a haunted house, so some, if you sign a waiver, especially, to do the haunted, you know, to go into these haunted houses, yeah. of course there's going to be some fucked up shit going on. Yeah. Maybe to not, I don't think rape, though, a rape, a mock rape would be That would be kind of weird. Appropriate, like, in any sense. Like, well, I, I mean, maybe just a tip. No, not just a tip. Not no. <laughs> don't say anything about no goddamn. I'm pudding joking. Pops I'm joking. I thought you were about to go into your Bill Cosby pudding pops thing again. <laughs> Will you put just a tip in the hoarded house? No. Okay. No. Okay. Anyways. So yeah, um, it's a that's a little fucking ridiculous. I think. Yeah. So, Are you done? I guess. I mean, I was interrupted through like majority I'm of the sorry. fucking. I'm sorry. That was my no, 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 no. I'm, no, I'm just saying, you want to ask me, are you done? Like, no, I was just wondering. You said it, I was just wondering. But you guys interrupted me through half the I'm sorry. Of my it wasn't like that. It yeah, it was like, like that. that. No, it wasn't. That's exactly how it no, was. It okay. Mm -hmm. Well, anyways. Whatever. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> Moving on. Um, um, we're not off in a Modern row. Family. Modern Family. Oh, yeah. Are we, are we going to talk about Jay? 
Let's see what. Why are we talking about J? This is Modern Family Death isn't J. Oh yeah, well not R J, dude. Okay. Jesus Christ. Anyways, oh. anyways, Modern Family. Uh, it's supposed to be killing off one of their main characters. Yeah, look at that. Bam. It makes X's. me sad. Um, and original speculation was it was going to be Jay. He was the most logical he was the oldest. choice. And he's not old Jay, as shit. And not Jay from Playing With Balls, just in case no one watches Modern Family. We're not yeah. talking about him. So they're going to kill him? No. No. They're saying it's Come not on. Him. That was a banned sound effect. Okay. Sickos. Anyways. Um, they're saying it's not him. So it's not going to be Jay. So it means anyone's up for fair game. Um, I'm actually thinking that it's probably going to be Phil. That's me. Yeah. I, I don't know what anyone else thinks or if you watch Modern Family at all. I've been watching it basically since it started. Yeah. Uh, and this is supposed to be their last season. Mm -hmm. Um, So I'm not really sure. I'm not really sure um what's going to happen with that. I don't either. Tokar, what are you doing? Oh, I'm here. Sorry. Oh, I'm here. Of course you're here. Yeah, you're here, but you're not <laughs> looking at the camera. Sorry, sorry. I'm going to look. So, do you even watch Modern Family? I don't know anything about He doesn't about it. watch okay. any TV. I don't understand you, what you he have, does. You have to explain it to me. I watch YouTube videos. <laughs> That's a funny... I, I watch people... That's funny. I watch people eat like ghost peppers or like food challenges. That, that explains a lot. What kind of Tokar. life is this, Tokar? <clears throat> You know, okay. I mean, it's not bad that he doesn't watch TV at all. You know, it's well, just, he does watch. He he doesn't, he doesn't watch any like popular. Well, I shows mean, it's not bad. I don't know but anything. Replacing about it. it with YouTube videos that are fucking retarded, I guess. It's a little strange, but hey, whatever. Teach their own, right? <clears throat> he was a dolphin in disguise. Oh, Allison said about the one story. He was a dolphin in disguise. Who? I'm sure it was about the 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 pig. Yeah, the pig, yeah. the guy with the pig mask. He's a dolphin yeah. in disguise. They thought it was oinks, but it was really that uh, dolphin sound they make. Oh boy! <coughs> so you think it's Phil, but you didn't really explain why. Well, I think it's Phil because he's had health problems on the show before. Yeah, he's is, been in is, the hospital. Is it Doctor Phil? Um, no, no. <laughs> it's not Doctor Phil. No, so silly. Um. How do you explain I mean, Modern I, I Family really, to Tokar? I can't really... Well, basically, the show is about... It's it's following this family around. I mean, it's almost like... Like, like it would be like a documentary. Sort of type thing. Obviously, it's, it's a kinda, comedy. If, if you've ever seen The Office and the way they do their camera work, it's basically the same type of... Yeah, it's pretty funny. So, um... <laughs> Dolphins all day. Yeah. So... Yeah, it's just it's just basically I like don't, I don't think it's gonna be any of the kids. I don't I'd like to assume it, not. it would either be Gloria, Phil Claire or Phil. That's who I think it's gonna be. And Tokar for God's be, sake. I can't remember their names. I'm trying to think of their names. Um uh Jason and his husband. Oh, uh, you're talking about uh I can't remember their names, I don't know why. I, I can't either. I, I don't give a shit. I don't. I mean, that's fucked up that you don't give a shit. I don't. Like, I don't really. I don't know, man. Like, I. Don't, I just don't. I don't know their names. I don't. I'm remember. just saying, you're like, oh, I don't give a shit. Uh, hold on. You need to be a douche about it. Sounds all douchey. There we go. Yeah, well, you got. Thank you, Allison. Douche. Like, I'm gonna smack the shit out of them today. Yeah, well, buddy, smack us. You know what I think? It's definitely gonna be Phil. <clears throat> why? Yeah. Why do you think that? Because, after not watching you know, it, it's Phil. You know, it's Mitchell and Cameron, by the Mitchell way. Mitchell and Cameron. And then there's I love, Luke. I and love then them. They're so cute. But it's not going to be Luke. Haley and Alex. But Phil, Phil's like the guy that they always... Yeah, the only reason... I mean, I thought Phil, too, because he has health issues in previous episodes. Yeah. I don't know how serious. I can't remember to what extent they were or what they were, but he did have issues. But you never know. I mean, they could just surprise everyone and someone could just like get into a car accident. I know, I know. It really, it's a TV show. I mean, And that's very typical of Phil. And I, I, yeah. It's going to happen probably mid-season. I will say that it, it'll, the it'll, end. I would say mid because they're not going to. This is probably their last season, so they're not going to. I mean, they could, could wait till closer to well, the end. What I'm they, not saying the last what episode. They, no, but what they want to do is that's been one thing they haven't really tackled. Is killing someone else. Is killing somebody and, and having them go through the grieving process. The grieving process and, and stuff. Would change. So I want to say. <clears throat> I think it's, it's Phil also. Be about halfway through. I feel like it's Phil too because he's like more of the comic, like the comedic relief. Yeah, he's he really is. ridiculous and he's really funny. 
but he's likable. Even though he's a little oh, ridiculous. I would I would be devastated. So if Phil I feel died. like Phil would be like the strongest yeah. one to take out <laughs> yeah, because Phil. a lot of people would be affected. It would be yeah. really sad. Yeah, that's just Phil, you know. Tokar is Tokar. not yawning today. What I don't happened? think he's yawned. Today. I don't. I don't think you've yawned at all today. Yeah, because Tommy Pretty said good. what? No yawning. Like, no, but when I'm thinking about Phil here, you know. <laughs> Keeps like, you energized. Yeah. yeah, I'm glad he's he's like trying to be a part of the conversation, even though he's never seen the show. I'm but, glad, but it's Phil, you know. Yeah, it's yeah. Phil. So and you if think there's someone that's gonna go? It's Phil. It's gotta be yeah. Phil, right? Yeah. Gotta be All Phil. right. Well, we're gonna take a break. Break time. Um, give me a when break. When we get back, give me a break. We're gonna have another give. Me get, a break. Get, uh, blah, blah, blah. When we get back, when we get back, <laughs> we're gonna have another giveaway that yeah, we're gonna Allison. be playing with some balls. And I want to say one thing about these T-shirts. There's yes. no meth in them. There's no meth. Unless no meth you, in the t-shirt. I mean, if you want to put some meth in them, that's up to you. Yeah. But we're not, you know, putting meth in them for you. Yep. We're too broke for meth. All right. So we're going to have a break. We'll be drugs. back. Keep it locked right here on the Epic Radio Show. Yeah. Everybody, welcome back. What up? Um, we are going to give away another T-shirt. Who's going to be a lucky um, winner? Our first winner was uh, Tommy. Tommy. Tommy Parker. I'll Parker. Uh, just let you guys know. Uh, we'll get that to him. Yeah, um, buddy. You know what? I have to say something before we yeah. get totally into this giveaway because I just saw that you were doing the birthdays. My dad's birthday is Friday, October 26th. Well, you didn't mention anything. Well, I thought he'd pop up on your phone. I'm not friends with your dad. Oh, yeah. Well, I'm going to say it because yeah. I know it's his birthday. Okay. Happy birthday. You well, know, if you may not listen. Happy birthday. I mean, I may Love be you. friends. No, I'm not. I'm not friends with To my dad. dad. To my father. On Friday. Um, happy okay. Well, that's fine. Um, For his birthday, I guess we can give him one of the shirts. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He would like it, I think. Um. Anyways. Next. Uh, Sorry. Next winner. 216-584-5718. Tokar, please stop with the fucking sound effects right now. Okay. All right. Two one six five eight four five seven one eight. Give us a call, um, and win a ugly bra t shirt. Do we have one of them? Uh, well, I mean, I'm wearing one. I'm wearing one too. <clears throat> Me too. We all are. Um, I guess I'll just call Jay. Let's do this real quick. We will be obviously. If you call, we will answer. Yep. Yeah, um, buddy, will be answer brand. So, you went to this uh, Halloween party last night, right? How was that? Oh, it was a lot of fun. I was uh, Waldo and... Um, Waldo. Waldo, yeah. And they found him. <laughs> yeah, people were coming up to me like, yeah, we found you, and like, all these <laughs> random people. And... Yeah. That's funny. You probably did that because you're like, I want everyone to find me. Yeah, and I'm like, well, I found myself. <laughs> That's funny. Silly, silly. Is he on? Are you on, Jay? Hello? Yeah, I'm here, bro. I'm trying to get get up to the hotel. I fucking took a wrong turn because the servant sucks. <laughs> okay, there's Jay. Well, we're gonna do we're gonna do your intro first, bud. So give us a All second. Right, well, I'm, can you hear me? I can. Yes. All right. Dude. Just don't okay. use that goddamn fucking Bluetooth. That goddamn Bluetooth. I know. I'm driving. I'm about to be to the hotel in like two seconds. Okay. Cool. Well, we're gonna play your intro and then. Or whatever happens, happens. Okay. All right, man. I, I hope you can fuck Oh yeah. There we go. Oh man. All right, you ready, Jay? Yeah, I'm ready. Okay. He's here for it. What's up, guys? What's up? (laughs) Are you on speaker? Hold on. Yeah, I'm driving, man. Is is it a bad connection? No. No, we just we can can barely hear you. That's all. All right. Hold on. I'm yeah. I'm I'm driving. A moment. 
But anyways, we'll jump into sports. I'm going to take you guys off this girl that I'm trying. Okay. Please Okie do dokie. Yeah, please do that. Yeah, I'm going to. And watch all for the that. Dolphins. And a little, little busy today. Busy, busy, busy. I've gotcha. Busy. Dude, I worked 80 hours this week, man. Nice. Crazy, but all right. So, so, uh, so did we hear that Jay's gonna um purchase new equipment? Is that what we heard? I'm uh, sorry, what was that? Uh, <laughs> so did we hear that um that means Jay's gonna buy more equipment? Is that what it is? Yeah, I, I could probably help. I'm, out. I'm yeah, uh, anyways, uh, hey, well, by the way, speaking of that, uh, what's the update on that uh the Browns ticket for Larry? Um, yeah, actually with that, I'm going to, uh, the next home game, I, I will, uh, I'm going to buy a ticket for him. Um, okay. and, and, uh, you can give it to him. Okay. So. Well do that soon. So I can have time to give it to him. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. Jay, yeah where definitely. Are you? definitely. Where are you at today? really busy, man. I wanted to go with him, but I, you know, I, I, I want to get him the ticket. So, you know, yeah, before the season's over. Yeah. yeah, definitely. Yeah. Well, I mean, we still have know, about know, half a season to go. It's way, but yeah, he's there's time. But yeah, I'm definitely gonna get him the next home game. But anyways, cool. um, so anyways, in news, I'm sure you guys seen the um, the uh, Ohio State Buckeyes game yesterday, and it was just crazy, man. I mean, I thought they were gonna win this game. They were ranked number two in the nation. And they just got their butts kicked by an unranked team. I, I was watching wow. the game last night. I'm so pissed off. They lost 49 to 20 against an unranked team. Jeez. This is supposed to be the second what best team in the way. nation. And I mean, they, they got, they got embarrassed, man. Um, so that's going to drop them down. Um, and Michigan is actually going to be ranked number one in the Big Ten God now, which it. kind of pisses me off. Well, the Michigan. That's the Fuck state. Michigan. Yeah. You uh, unless you watch the show, think, <laughs> then we love you, Michigan. Yeah. Well, I don't care. Any Michigan fans out there, I suck a... Whoa, <laughs> Anyways. Whoa. Oh, <laughs> those were big fight wars, Jay. You know, Michigan. Yeah, no, no, I'm just joking. They say the same thing to like the Buckeyes fans. Well, it's it's all good. <laughs> It's all in good fun. It is. Sorry. Anyways, um, so yeah, that loss is gonna sting Ohio State. That might come back to haunt us, um, to go into the college playoffs. So we'll see how the rest of the season goes. They play, um, you know, next week, and hopefully they can um, bounce back. But man, um, in other news in Ohio State, I'm sure everyone's heard Nick Bosa, Joey Bosa's little brother, which is gonna be a first round pick. He's a first round talent. Um, he announced that he's not coming back to school, um, coming back to Ohio State, to, uh, Buckeyes, to play football anymore. He's just going to focus on the draft this year. And the kid will probably go in the first round. He's he's uh, he's a really good talent, man. But, um, yeah, that's some other bad news for Ohio State. So, I don't know, man. A pretty bad loss last night, and they're, they're going to drop in the national rankings now big time. I mean, rank number two, that's the best thing you can have you know, rank right behind Alabama. And now you got, you lose to an unranked team and now you're going to be dropped down in the rankings pretty, pretty far probably. So. Hmm. Gotcha, man. Yeah. So, uh, um, that, that's crappy news, man, for the Browns. I mean, for the Ohio Ohio State State. guys, anyways, uh, jump into the Browns. I know I was excited last week. I think, and I, I, I know, Kind of got a foot in my mouth, didn't I? Yeah, buddy. A little bit. That's why I told you, man, <laughs> not to not to jump the gunner. Yeah, but uh, I mean, it was yeah, still a good, uh, it was a de- you know it was uh, there was a lot of fucking flags, man. It was, but you know what? You know what makes me mad? Like, really first of all, on know. one of the drives that they scored on, where the guy was straight up false start. Yeah, I mean, yep. Miles Garrett yep. pointed this out to the media too exactly. and he's like i don't care if i get fined by the league but these refs need to do because because um you know how the nfl is man if a player comes out publicly and criticizes the refs oh that's I a know. no-no and the yeah. league finds so for that. Well, you know what they should be allowed to criticize the refs if if the if refs aren't wrong, doing their damn yeah. job because yeah. th- that that's that um that touchdown should not have been counted period no, no, definitely not. It was he, it was it was blatantly as plain as day <laughs> a false start. I mean, even the announcers, everybody, everybody said that. 
Yeah, like, and everyone's like, wow, he yeah, he moved before anybody. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that was bad, and we we got our butts kicked, man. Yeah, um, I know. Big time by by the uh, Chargers, but you know what? Um, today I'm I'm excited. Today should be a, a redemption game for the Cleveland Browns. I really think they can come back and win one today. They're playing Tampa Bay. Um, I think uh, Tampa Bay's and defense nobody likes not Florida. all that great, <laughs> but they do have a high powered scoring offense. So yeah. Um, we're going to have to try to match them point for point. But I think if the defense, if our defense can come out and they can play lights out, it's a huge opportunity for this Cleveland Browns team to actually, um, you know, win another game this year. One thing I noticed with last game is, uh, there wasn't as much protection for Baker as there has been, uh, previous games. It yeah, seems like he had to rush a little bit more instead of getting them seconds to... Uh, oh, you mean uh, last week? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. The line didn't do a very good job of protecting him. And, uh, you know, I've been sticking up for this line all all year. And Tommy Parker came out and said it uh, yet last week. Hey, uh, they need to block for Baker. Yeah. And we'll win more games. And sure enough, what happened was uh-huh. uh, they weren't blocking for Baker. And... Uh, they they need to do a better job with the protection. They need to step up and um, protect them a little better. But um, yeah, I, th- I think the Browns are poised to turn it around and and make some um, make make something happen. And in other news too, with the Browns, they traded Ohio State running back Carlos Hyde, which was kind of a That's surprise shitty. move, yeah. <laughs> but kind of not really because they do want to see this opens up the door for Duke Johnson to get more touches. Yeah. Um, Nick Chubbs to get more touches. Yeah. I mean, they've shown them two backs have shown promise. And I think they were just kind of like, all right, let's, we can get a fifth round pick. We got a fifth round pick for a guy that's averaging under four yards to carry. Um, even though he's had six touchdowns this year, he's still averaging under four yards of carry. And you want your back to be averaging at least four yards of carry. But, um, so we got a fifth round pick for him, and now we get to see what Duke Johnson, who played really well last week, can do this season. And okay. uh, Nick Chubbs, our rookie, um, who went off that last game when he got a couple touches, he went from for like almost 100 yards or whatnot with three carries. So, gotcha. I mean, it's going to be exciting to see the offense today, man. I'm excited. Hey, I'm pumped, and uh, hopefully we can get a win today. Hey, when um when are you coming back into the studio? Is it next week? Yeah, it should be next week. Yeah. Okay. Cool. I, I just want to know because I haven't really heard that much. Yeah. Um, unfortunately, they got me working by myself, man. So I'm, I'm yeah. like one man doing a bunch of crap, and it's um, uh, it's kind of slowing me down a little bit. But yeah, uh, David should be back here soon too uh, with his segment. That's going to be good. I got a couple comments. Oh, what's your comments? Um, Tommy said, Jay, don't be sad. I have an OSU hat for you. Hope it doesn't mess up your hair, though. Hello? Hello? Yeah, did you hear that? Yeah, what's the comment? Oh, okay. <laughs> he didn't hear that. He didn't oh. hear it. Okay. Jay, don't be sad. I have an OSU hat for you. I hope it doesn't mess up your hair, though. LOL. And he said, referees, do your fucking job, right? Really, Jay, I told you. And Allison said, yep, suck it up, Michigan. Yep. Uh, well, what did you write? You wrote something down. We, yeah, I'll tell okay. you about that later. Okay. All right. That's fine. <laughs> Gal, my she, right. Allison's a Michigan fan? No. No, well, she, she said, said suck no, it. No, she Sorry. said suck it. Oh, Sorry. suck it, Michigan. Yeah. yeah. Sorry. Right? My yep. bad. Yep. yep. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks, Jay. It's been a pleasure as always uh, with right, okay. your. Oh, yeah, definitely. Playing with the balls. Playing with the balls. Playing with the balls. Okay. Playing with the balls. Hey, Epic, I like your. I, I was surprised today when I turned on the um the show. I seen that that hat looks pretty sweet, man. You got you got a nice little fit going on today, man. Oh yeah, thanks, thanks. <laughs> and then I'm, I'm you put the pop in the pudding. Yeah, you put the pudding with the <laughs> what pop you do with the is put the boogers on the boxes. <laughs> <laughs> you put right, your guys. boogers in All the right. boxes. Right. All right, uh, thanks, man. I put the boogers later. All right, bye, bye. <laughs> Oh my God! You put your boogers way in your box. And I make you. I don't know what, what the hell about. is going on. There? That's from I don't know. Caller Damon Wayne. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. He was like the homeless guy, and yeah, like he buddy. made like a box. 
In other this news, my new home. Right in other news, uh, Luke Cage was canceled. Oh, well, no. well, well. Being the second one in the, ne- the last couple weeks to be canceled, um, it looks like Netflix is starting to clean house a little bit. I think a lot of this speculation is with Disney's new um, stuff uh, platform yeah. coming out soon. That's it. Uh, they're they're starting to thin the herd. Uh, I, I can't remember I'm what Luke surprised. Cage was about. What was well, it? Luke Cage, he's like basically bulletproof, and he's is he super the strong. was he in the thing? Yeah, I, we watched a little the Defenders. Bit of it. Yeah. yeah, gotcha. Um, I I liked season one. I had not watched season two yet. Not yet. But I heard it made a lot of improvements off you know from last season. So I was really surprised that went. Um, they they had canceled Iron Fist also. I mean, I don't know. I'm gonna be um, honest. Iron Fist, I wasn't like a huge fan of his character. Anyway, yeah. So. Uh, Tokar, I don't know what you're doing, but please stop. I don't know what you're doing. Okay. You're you're messing stuff up. Sorry. Can you not do that anymore? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Anyways. Um, so Luke Cage being canceled, that leaves just Jessica Jones and yep. Daredevil and the Punisher. I love Daredevil though. So. Yeah. Uh, which should be, um, Daredevil's coming soon, really soon, if it's not out already. Oh, I is, have. It, is it a show on Netflix? It is a show on wow. Netflix, yes. This is crazy to me that he doesn't know about, like, I know he doesn't shows. know anything. That's so crazy. Yeah, he doesn't know anything to about me, popular co- culture. That's correct, correct. Like, he's literally. No, I know Daredevil. I read the comics. No, no what I'm saying is you don't know about any TV shows at all. Like, no, no new ones. You don't know about The Good Place, do you? What's The Good Place? See, no, that's what I'm man. saying. What's the... Like, man. The Gifted? No, no, nothing. Like nothing. Please I, tell me you know Law and Order. Three's SVU, company. Okay? I know Law and Order. <laughs> Thank it's you. Like, Jesus Christ. I man. love Law and Order. I mean, SVU. he's basically Amish. <laughs> like he, he literally is he basically watches Amish. YouTube videos. I don't, yeah, I don't know I anything about Netflix. Amish. I don't know. I ran into an Amish uh, girl the other day. Yeah, you wanted to bring that up briefly. I guess. I guess I could do that now. I mean, we're talking about it right now, so you. And can I know Luke Cage. Luke Cage was like a Marvel comic character. Yeah, and he was. I don't. I don't know what you're trying to get. At. Anyways, <laughs> um, sit back a little bit. I don't know what you're doing. Okay, okay. Right, sorry. Anyway, so I, I the other day I stopped in this store. Um, oh, he was, and it was like a subway. It, it was so weird because it was like where where in Ohio was this? I I'm trying to think where it was. I don't. I don't remember. Okay, but I know it was close to like Southington or something. So, anyways, so. God damn it, Tokar. How do you how do you say hi in Amish? What? How no, how do you speak Amish? You don't speak Amish. What are you talking about? Oh, they don't have their own language? Or... They speak English. Oh, they speak English? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I mean, what yeah, the fuck? Buddy. Like I don't I don't understand. Like, I don't understand. Anyways. <laughs> anyways, Tokar. Oh, so man. I went into the store and I swear to God, from the outside it was a barn. It was a barn that was like converted to a convenience store that had a subway in it. <laughs> and that's really cool. And the girl that was there, she was running both. She was running register and she was running subway because she was waiting for somebody to come in. And um, were they were they late like me German? today? What, the? what were they late? I no. don't know, but let me let me continue. <laughs> okay. So, anyways, Just keeps asking him. um. Oh, man. So I went in there. To, I was going in there for the subway. So she went went over there, and I was talking to her a little bit. And I asked her a few questions. And I was like, so, like, I don't want to sound retarded, but you are Amish, correct? <laughs> and she said yes. <laughs> she you didn't know. get offended? Like, no, 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 no. Like, what do you think? I mean, why, why, yeah, why, exactly. Why, why am I dressed like this if I'm not Amish? Okay. So. Did they have electricity? Yes, that's what I'm trying to get into the story, <laughs> okay, Tokar. Okay. God damn it. All right, go ahead. <laughs> so anyways, um, you know, and I, I asked her this because I noticed that, you know, it was it was like a regular subway, a regular store. And I, I said, you know, I, you know, I'm, I'm not trying to be rude or anything. I just I don't know anything about, you know, your religious beliefs or anything like that. But like, should you be working in the store? <laughs> like it has it's full electric, you know, like, isn't that against your uh beliefs and she said no we're allowed to work in places with with electricity we're just not allowed to have it in our homes hmm. interesting yeah it is hmm. but um 
So I went to my patient right afterwards and I was talking to him. I was like, oh yeah, you know, I had this uh, little conversation with this Amish girl that works in the subway or whatever. And uh, he said that some of the Amish um, actually have solar panels on their farms because some, some, some of them have like their contractors and stuff like that. And they actually have cell phones. And they, what they do is they use the solar panels to charge their phones and stuff. Ta-da! I'm like, man, that's kind of weird, though, right? That's kind of... We got Jay coming. Oh, Jesus. Jay? Hello? Yo. 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 What, what do you think about the Amish? Hey, so look. True story, man. I sold the Amish uh, Kirby one time, man. That's crazy. I know you saw yeah, and then uh, one time did I tell you the story? One time, yeah. Uh, I was working for AT and T, right? Yeah. And I uh, I was pitching the uh, like pitching at the IX Center at the Home and Garden Show. Yeah. So this Amish dude walks by, and you know I'm goofy, man. So I'm like, <laughs> hey man, you got? I'm like, you got AT and T? I'm like, you got AT and T or uh, Spectrum? And they're like. The dude stops, the Amish dude stops and looks at me and starts laughing like, now, man, you know I don't have no damn TV. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, actually, uh, one of my other co uh, sales um, reps there actually did sell a TV package uh, for DirecTV to an Amish lady. So That's they crazy. do have, uh, some of them do use electricity, man. And I know, isn't that strange? Like, wouldn't they be yeah. kind of like fake Amish? Like, motherfucker. Fake Amish. They're called Mennonites or something like that. Yeah, yeah. I, and I want my bread from Subway well, from an Amish person to be baked in like a old fashioned like oven that's yeah has like wood in it and everything. Well, see, this is you know that that's the, another point I was going to say about the Subway thing. That's what I kind of expected when I saw her that it was going to be Dutch, yeah that it was going to be kind of like um you know like. Uh, like my my fucking subway sandwich was gonna be heated up by like you know a wooden a stove and shit. You know what I'm saying? Like you know, with like burnt wood. And that would have been delicious though. Just well, saying. Yeah. Disappointing. All right, man. I'm gonna let you guys get back to the show. Man. Okay. okay. Thank you. Thank you. Right, Thanks bye, for the Jay. story. All right. Yeah. Fine. Um. But yeah, dude, it was so crazy. It's like, dude, you're not really Amish. Like this particular family that my impatient was telling me about. So they own a boat. They own a boat. boat motherfucker. Yeah, the Amish. This Amish family they were oh telling me about. They own a boat and they pay somebody to drive their boat up to Lake Erie, let them be on their boat and shit, and then drive them back. And they pay them to do this. Like, you know, like, I don't know, it's like $400 or something like that. Wow. He pays a person to just drive them. If you want me sit there. If you Wait want me to done? drive your yeah, boat, you know what I'm saying? That's, that's crazy. Isn't that crazy though? I would, like, I'd what be the like, fuck? Damn! Like, how am I gonna come with four hundred dollars to pay this motherfucker? All right. So, that's anyways, fun. we're gonna have our giveaway now. I know we were gonna do it after the break, but you know, whatever. Um, giveaway two one six five eight four five seven one eight. Give us a call, uh, and you'll be the owner of a proud new T-shirt. I, you know what? I watched the uh, Oprah one time. Yeah. And um, she did a documentary about the Amish. And you know what they do for like the Amish kids? Yeah. They let them, when they're like 16, 18, they let them, they actually pay, they pay, they give them weed, they give them like tons of alcohol, and they buy them a car. And they, they'll actually go to a house with like electricity and like an entertainment, like video games. Yeah. And so what they do, the Amish, when they're kids, they have a choice to say if they want to be Amish or if they if they don't want to be. That is a that is false. Yeah, he was actually telling that, me. About I actually it. talked to that Amish girl about that, and I, I I I was actually getting to that in a minute. But um, yeah, she actually said that is a myth that you are just Amish. There's no point in their life where they, they can go the out. Yeah, they don't to... give you the opportunity. Hmm. You're either That's Amish a... or you're not Amish. Like there's there's no Amish exploring the world and stuff like that. She said that is completely false and people just talk about stuff they don't know nothing about. That's exactly what she And that told sounds me. like the Amish answer to that. Yes, it does. It does. It does. People talk about stuff they don't know anything about. And I think Goldie's actually a friend with uh, an Amish lady that's like on the Discovery Channel. 
Like, oh, yeah. What's this? There's like an Amish. Show. I know what you're talking. What the Amish Mafia one? No, uh, <laughs> is it a mafia or there's something? Show there's just like um Amish mafia. Twentieth century Amish. I don't know. No, but she's actually friends with uh, someone okay. that's famous. That's cool. That that's makes sense. On, uh, Interesting. Which is a- which is odd. You don't like electricity, but you're gonna let these people come in with all this stuff, stuff, electronic stuff, and put you on. TV the Devil's Box. But to be you know, honest with you, I showed like a preview of the show, and the they, they didn't know? seem Amish. They just seem like re- regular people. Who... Yeah, you know, I don't know. But it, that, it, but that lady that Goldie's friends with, she's like an old school like Amish lady. She dresses yeah. up, and yeah, I mean, this girl was dressed up. Like that's why I asked. You know, I mean, I didn't want to sound stupid, stupid but, but you know, you don't want to just assume. Tell sometimes. <clears throat> Okay, we got a caller. Welcome. Hello. Hi. Hey, who's on the line? Hey, Allison. I knew hey, it. Allison, you want a um ugly broad T-shirt? What size do you wear? Fucking sweet. Yay. Uh, what size do you wear? <laughs> uh, medium. Oh yay. Yeah, mediums so we're are gonna... very roomy. I'm wearing one right now. Yeah. So we're gonna we're gonna send that out to you. Um, we'll have to get, get your, your address, address and, stuff. and we'll ship that out to you uh but thank you for calling in and winning that do you have anything else to add um the show is great (laughs) thank you thank you we really appreciate that you know i'm seeing your wife with your dolphin rape Uh, oh yeah (laughs) the dolphin rape dolphin rape is raw mister oh my god you know you know bill cosby's spirit animal is the dolphin What's that? What? Bill Cosby's spirit animal. Oh That's right, yep. Jesus he, Christ. He, he puts the rape with the bottle of those dolphins. Doing the jello. The really? <laughs> oh I don't the dolphin animal. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with us. They're so fucking uh, ridiculous. But they, but thank you so much, Allison, for calling in and winning that shirt. Thank you. We were feeling a little... Uh, we weren't feeling the love there for a minute. Uh. <laughs> That's what you gotta go she with was trying the doctor. They love everybody. But didn't she? she didn't. But I didn't see the thing and the number. Oh. Like, you know, and I put the number up too late. And oh. Tommy had already called. So oh, okay. I was like, they'll but be we're gonna head. have one more giveaway, guys. So uh, keep it locked right here. We're gonna take a break. Uh, when we get back, I'm gonna talk about uh, a weird prank text. And um, it wasn't me. And we're gonna <laughs> see it? this uh, tow car segment. Oh, I bet. that's oh, it's gonna be great. He's it's excited. gonna be great. I can't wait for that. Keep it locked right here on the Epic Radio Show. And keep we the sh- pop in your put. <laughs> put the put it in a pop. Oh my God. Okay. Uh, keep it locked right here. Oh my God. All right, everybody. Welcome back. We're back now. <clears throat> Yay. All right, so we're going to talk Woo-hoo. about this random fucking text. And I would love to hear this story. This is a funny story, actually. <laughs> yeah, so anyways, for the past, like, I want to say it was like a week and a half or so, somebody kept texting me, <laughs> like, hey, we franking or what? I got some good franks on the grill. We got some ham hocks popping off. We, we franking or what? Like, who, who, I don't know. What, I don't what do they know. mean by Franken? Are they German or I something? I don't know. I don't get it. I, it was all hot dog related or food related. Yeah, it was kind of funny. It was just kind of weird. And I, you know, for a while, I kind of ignored them. And then a- after a while, <clears throat> I got sick of it. Because, you know, it's one thing to prank somebody and have a reason to do it. And then, like, say, ha, 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 it was me. You know what I mean? Like. But this person just well, kept, but this person just kept, you know, food like stuff related because like even us when we prank people, we eventually tell them who. Yeah, it, like honestly, like, God, I used to prank people, and then at the end, I would tell them like, "Yeah, that was me." And yeah, they'll, they'll get real mad. Yeah, too, but, but it, it it adds to the fun. You know you what know? I mean? Like this person just kept texting me. So what did so, I do? What'd you do? You well, blocked them. Well, no, no, not quite. Uh, I I did originally, but then they they came they came back with a different number. Oh my god! Yeah, they're, they were dedicated. They're, they're going they were hardcore. dedicated. So I I messaged them back and I said, "Hey, what's going on?" And they just were like, still with the Franken thing. I'm like, okay, well, you know, I had did a reverse lookup on them, and 
I said, well, I know you're in Akron and I have your IP address. So if you keep fucking with me, I'm going to send the virus to your phone. Right. And then and they said something about sexting or whatever the fuck. And so I sent a virus to their phone and it sent literally a million emojis to yeah, their a million. text. Oh, you can send, you can do that. Wow. Yeah. I, I'm a, I'm a beast. I mean, I do put together. He, when he wants to fuck that, with people, yeah. he fucks with people. Like he really does. Oh, um, man. Oh. So literally they would have to restart their whole phone to get rid of this. Yep. From scratch. Because like, the because text would just keep coming. It would just keep coming forever. Even if they blocked me, the, the virus keeps going through. It okay, doesn't yeah. do anything. So they literally have to reboot their whole phone to get rid of it. They they, they literally can't do anything. So I sent that to their phone. and um, You haven't got a text since, have I you? I haven't gotten a text since. Nope. So He's that was one for away. Epic, zero for the texting bandits. And boy, they can texting prank bandits. all they want now. Yeah. Yeah. They can- that was a good time. Yeah, he told buddy. me about that. I was like, well, that's hilarious. <laughs> and I gave him warning, so I said, I said look, hey. I said, if you don't stop, really? like, I'm, like, seriously, like, I have your IP address. I can do some shit to you right now. Like, I'll and they, just, they just kept going. So I'm like, like, okay, well, I, I right, warned boy, you. you. You didn't learn. And <laughs> so, now like, you know now. and they were all happy faces. They to make like, it even better. Wasn't even like anything shitty. There was a million happy faces. <laughs> <laughs> He's so happy. He's so happy to give your phone a virus. You should you should have sent like hot dog emojis. <laughs> I know. Uh, well, if he I don't think I have a choice again, of what emoji to send. He maybe he'll try to figure that out next yeah. time. So that was a quick little story. Yeah, it was a funny story um, though. Now the main event of the day. The main I'm event gonna, of I'm gonna the watch day. That so He's gonna watch the shit out of it. Sorry, I bought yeah, the but you can't have the volume up. Well, you can hear it, right? No, there's a delay, so you're not going to be able to see it yet. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Um, you'll be able to hear it though. Um, so without further ado, well, let, you know what? Fuck it. Let's let's do a little background. So, anyways, we used to prank um the ugly broad quite a bit, and uh, they were awesome. They were um, awesome. They really were. So. I decided, you know what? Like, we got this camera when we um after the 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 fundraiser. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? It was one of the things we wanted to do was get a camera, yeah, buddy, uh, so that we could do things outside of the studio. Yeah. And that was the first thing, right? Yeah, and then well, I mean, well, we, well kind of we did the kids reading yeah. ingredient, but that was still here it though. Was still, that wasn't it was outside out, the house. Th- this is our this first, first thing that we've done outside. outside of the studio. Yeah, like period. Okay, yeah. so anyways. So I I called up um Sherry the owner and I kind of talked to her and I think she was a little skeptical <laughs> like maybe that I was just like bullshitting her or something but uh so I had a meeting with her meeting went good um and then the next week we shot a video there and without further ado um we're going to go ahead and play this so okay. hopefully it works right. Yeah, it should. It should. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. Oh, hey, I'm Tokar from the Epic Radio Show. I'm standing in front of the Ugly Broad Tavern here on Denison Avenue. A lot of people don't know this about the Ugly Broad, but it's been in business since the mid-70s. It was originally named the pub and was located in the middle of two steel mills, J&L and Republic Steel. In April of 1980, Sherry Perry purchased the bar and is still the current owner today with her big fucking Rottweiler princess named Zena. Sherry is also one of the first woman bar owners in the area. In 2004, the Plain Dealer ran an article called The Name Game. In it, they wrote that it's a neighborhood bar that feels like home. That is... If home has a full refrigerator of beer, an old pool table, and pictures of John Wayne on the wall. They have historically not taken themselves too seriously, and it shows with their sense of humor. Every episode, we have a segment called Ask Tokar, where I have to answer ridiculous questions on the spot. But today, I'm going to be the one asking the questions, and the lovely patrons at this very bar are going to answer them. (laughs) So follow me inside, and let's get started. All right, hey, how are you doing? Tokar here. Is it, would you mind if I ask you a couple of questions? Oh, go right ahead. 
Do radioactive cats have 18 half lives? <laughs> I, I don't know. <laughs> Can good looking Eskimo girls be called hot? You got to ask the guys that one, honey. <laughs> do you grow birds by planting bird seeds? God, I hope not. They poop on everything. <laughs> How can military troops be deployed if they never been ployed to begin with? What's ployed? <laughs> if parsley farmers are sued, can they garnish their wages? <laughs> I don't know. I would hope not. <laughs> if Jimmy cracks corn and no one cares, why does he keep on doing it? Habit. <laughs> That's right, he has a habit. What's your name? I'm Angela. Nice to meet you. Is it okay if I ask you a couple questions? Of course. Do radioactive cats have... 18 half-lives. They got like 36. They got 36 going on. And good-looking Eskimo girls be called hot? They take their clothes off. That's right. They got to take, they're so hot, they got to take their clothes off to cool down. In the snow. Can you buy something Pacific at the general store? I don't know if they have Pacific there, but I know they have a lot of general store stuff. Can you grow birds by planting bird seeds? No. How can military troops be deployed if they've never been deployed to begin with? How can they be deployed? If they've never been deployed to begin with. That one hurt my brain. I don't know. Yeah, to be honest with you, I don't know. <laughs> that one hurt my brain. I wouldn't even know how to answer that one. <laughs> if a, a parsley farmer is sued, can they garnish his wages? It's a lot of cilantro they're going to get. On the cilantro. Hey, how's it going? Tolkar here from Epic Radio Show. John. What's your name? John. Oh, John. We got two Johns here. Do radioactive cats have 18 half-lives? No, they're dead. Yeah, they're already dead because they're radioactive. Can you grow birds by planting bird seeds? No, because birds don't grow out of seeds. They grow out of eggs. Yeah, you got you to you gotta put eggs on the ground, not bird seeds. Yeah, yeah you got to plant eggs. Yep. How can a slim chance and a fat chance be the same, while a wise guy and a wise man are opposite? Because there is no such thing as a wise man. And there is no such thing as a fat guy. He's either overweight or he's underweight. That's right. There's no perfect weight. How can military troops be deployed if they've never been deployed to begin with? Well, I am a veteran, and all you do is say, get on board, bitch. That's right. <laughs> get on board. Let's go. If Jimmy cracks corn and no one cares, why does he keep doing it? He needs to go to rehab. That's right. <laughs> Too much for Jimmy going on. Thank you for answering the questions. Nice to meet you. You too. Take care. What's your name? Scott. Nice to meet you. Do radioactive cats have 18 half-lives? Not that I know of. That's right. They don't have any lives. Cats are not smart. Can good-looking Eskimo girls be called hot? Uh, yeah, I'd say so. You have to put on how many beers you had. <laughs> how much deeper would the ocean be if there wasn't any sponges in it? If there was no sponge, it would be real shallow. <laughs> real, real shallow. If a parsley farmer is sued, can they garnish his wages? Um, I don't think so, no. They can't, no. And why would anyone sue a parsley farmer in the first place? Yeah, Jimmy cracks corn and no one cares. Why does he keep doing it? Because he's smoking a lot of crack. Yeah, he's on that... <laughs> that, that crack. <laughs> that crack. <laughs> right, thank you for answering the questions. All right, thanks. Hi, how's it going? Tolkar here. What's your name? Scott. Do radioactive cats have 18 half-lives? Uh, yeah, and 27 legs. Yeah, and 27 legs. The Schrollinger's cat experiment. Aren't you tired of people asking rhetorical questions and you don't know if they're rhetorical questions or not? Is that a rhetorical question? I believe so it is. Can you grow birds by planting bird seeds? I'm still trying. I'll let you know when it happens. This takes some time. You just have to be patient. Water it every day. How can military troops be deployed if they haven't been deployed to begin with? 
Is Ploid a word? I don't know. I'm, to be honest with you, that one would throw me off, too. How much deeper would the ocean be if sponges didn't grow in it? Sponges grow in the ocean? See, you find out something new every day. I didn't know that. If a partially farmer is sued, can they garnish his wages? Yeah, they should be able to. They garnish mine. <laughs> yeah, they're going to garnish every. Without the flavor, though. <laughs> All right, thank you for answering the questions. Have a good one. Hi, nice to meet you. Peggy. Peggy, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Do radioactive cats have 18 half-lives? They have no lives left, but they're glowing. They're glowing in the dark, and they're awesome Halloween decorations. Aren't you tired of people asking you rhetorical questions, and you don't know if they're rhetorical or not? Aren't they all rhetorical? Can good-looking Eskimo girls be considered hot? Sure, as long as they don't melt before your eyes. Oh, that was a good one. That's my favorite answer. I've had a question so far. <laughs> Can you grow birds by planting bird seeds? Only if you take them out of the eggs first. How can military troops be deployed if they've never been deployed to begin with? How can they be deployed if they've never been what? Deployed to begin with. Deployed. First they have to be employed. And if they haven't been employed, we're all shit out of luck. Yep. <laughs> if a partially farmer is sued, can they garnish his wages? Why not? The government garnishes everybody else. <laughs> They're taking it all. All right, well, thank you for answering the questions. Thank you. It was really nice God bless. Have a good day. All right, you too. Thank you. Hey, uh, Tokar here. How's it going? What's your name? All right. Do, radio, do radioactive cats have 18 half-lives? Aren't you tired of people asking rhetorical questions and you don't know if they're rhetorical or not? Can good-looking Eskimo girls be called hot? <laughs> um, how can military troops be deployed if they have never been deployed to begin with? How much deeper would the ocean be if sponges didn't grow in it? That deep. Right, right about, about that deep right there. If a partially farmer is sued, can they garnish his wages? Just like he's going to garnish the mic. <laughs> All right, well, thank you for answering. All right. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Uh, this, this was actually the first time Tokar actually got to see the video. So yeah, I had I wanted, to let him watch real quick. I wanted to wait, you know, to... Um... Okay. That way I can watch it with like the listeners. With the listeners exactly. and with the, the listeners and the viewers and, the viewers and all that. <laughs> Everyone. And know. the hearers and the <laughs> It was really fun. Uh, everybody really was it. so it was like... everybody was amazing. Everyone was great. Everybody. It was a good we time. wanna give a special thanks out to the Ugly Broad and all their patrons that participated. And Xena. Uh and Xena, of course. She was so cute. <clears throat> I loved her. She's so cute. You guys stop by uh, the Ugly Broad when you get a chance. Um, oh, it's a, the wings the, were phenomenal. They have like they were so good. Yeah, they have like a seasoning, like the lemon pepper seasoning. It's so good. I just got barbecue, but mine were really good. Too. I actually got the Zena burger. Yeah, I got um, the Zena burger. It was yeah. kind of like a. It was on a hoagie. It was like a big patty cut in half and uh, put long ways on the. Like, it was, it, it was so really cool good. They have a burger named after the doggy. Yeah, it's so cute. It was the food so cute. was really good. So it sweet. was. It was really good. Uh, the staff is really nice. Uh, Sherry's almost there all the time. Oh, and they make homemade pizza too. They make homemade pizza, uh, which we need to check that out. Yeah, Figure out. Uh, we're gonna have our last giveaway right now to win an ugly broad T-shirt. Um, give us a call. Uh, two one six. What, what the fuck's the number again? I'm five retarded. eight four five eight four five seven one eight. <laughs> I'm a little retarded. Uh, I, I had a, a brain fart there. Tommy yeah, two one six five eight four five seven one eight. Win another T-shirt. We got one more to give away. Uh, we have all sizes: small, medium, large, extra, extra large, large. Uh, two X. It doesn't matter. And they're all really roomy, so you they're know. all really roomy. Uh, they're really good quality. Yeah. I mean, who doesn't like t-shirts? Who you doesn't know what? like Hold a on. free shirt, dog? Bam! Look at the back. Look at the back. Can you see the back? A look at bit. the back. A loop now, I want to really say, nice. Tommy Parker said this is so funny. 
<laughs> that was great, Tokar. Oh, thank and you. Allison said, oh, my God, that was fucking amazing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we want to do more stuff like that. Yeah, we, we got to do more. Yeah, we, we got to do more. You know, so gonna... if, you, if you have a favorite bar that's kind of underrated... Um, I'll anything. go there and yeah. I'll ask the yeah, we'll, questions. We'll, or we'll a bakery because I love <laughs> baked stuff. Oh, we can so, do a you bakery. Know, that'd be pretty sweet. I'm actually trying to convince uh, Ashley to do a a cooking segment. Yeah, he's trying. A baking segment. Uh, different recipes and show people how to make it and stuff like that. Yeah. She's really good at baking. Oh, she is? Wow. Yes. Yeah. Yes. You what? remember I baked stuff last oh, year? Oh, we got, uh, oh, we got a call her. Uh, welcome to the rec. Uh, <laughs> I can't even talk. Epic radio, radio, radio show. show. I can't talk today because I want to put the pudding with the words. Don't pop, don't pop, don't pop. Yeah. Uh, who, who's uh, talking right now? Oh, you're talking to Dan. Hey, what's going on, Dan? You get a ugly broad T-shirt. Yay! Yes. No so you'll to have Allison. to uh, send it to Allison. I'll send take a large Allison. and send it to Allison's address. All right. Okay, we'll sounds send them great. together. All right. Congratulations. Thank Yay. you so much. Woohoo! Thank you. No problem. Uh, I like that. <laughs> I like that, that tow car segment. I yeah, like it was like it was really funny. It was really fun. There was actually yeah. a deleted scene <laughs> where cool. um, <laughs> that was funny too, but it didn't. It, turn it, it out didn't. Right. More, it didn't turn out good. But uh, they have like this um, skeleton. Skeleton. It's like animatronic, and you can talk through a mic, and it and it speaks <laughs> it out of the mouth, mouth and everything, and it, it moves. moves its mouth and stuff. And I was basically yeah. Hulk Hogan from the future. I was pretending to be Hulk Hogan. <laughs> so I'm sitting there like, hey, brother. Like, oh I'm Terry Hulk Hogan. And like, He's like so see my 20-inch pythons, brother. And stuff like that. And um, so But it didn't sound it didn't sound good. Because um, it was probably because it was from the mic, so it wasn't as loud. And yeah, then... it wasn't as loud. It, it sounded really distorted, so I couldn't use any of the footage. I even tried to do it as like bonus footage. And I it could just not wasn't get him. it work the the cool. sound right. It, it's a shame because it was a really funny segment, uh, or part of the sh you know part segment. of the video. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but we really appreciate you guys listening. Um, appreciate you calling in. Appreciate you calling in. I'm winning this uh, t-shirts. Yay! We're gonna try to be doing yeah. a lot more giveaways. Um, yeah. All right, but thank you so much, Dan. You said a large, right? All right. Yeah, you said a large. Yeah, a large. Okay. Yep. Yeah. All right. Thank you, guys. Um, All right. And that is the show, everyone. Thank you, everyone. Yay! Yay! Another exciting adventure of the Epic Radio Show. Uh, thank you guys so much for joining us today. Um, thank you, myself. Allison. Even if, you What's know, that? she said, oh... Thank you. Love your show. I'm like, yeah, while well, he was doing all that weird yeah, shit. Yeah, all that weird you shit. You just fucked it all up. I now did. She's never I fucked it up. Watch again. Did you, did you hear about the someone interpreted a dolphin? And they no. found out what the dolphin was saying. You know what the dolphin was saying? What? You put the pop in your pudding. <laughs> <laughs> you put the pudding with the pop with the pudding. Okay, anyways. <laughs> oh, my God. All right. Uh, thank you guys so much. Uh, thank you again, TJ Montecito, even though you're probably going to drop us. Like, you're going to distance <laughs> yourself forever from and the I show. I was five minutes late. That, so. Oh, God yeah, let's damn hope, it. Let's hope you don't. Because, um, <laughs> yeah. But it's all a good fun. I don't. He you wasn't know, really doing anything. I wasn't obviously. doing anything, obviously. Obviously. Jesus. So. Why? You know, why is it so low, though? Did you turn it down? That was funny. It was so like I caught. That was like what? Where okay. Anyways, uh, thank you guys. We will see you next week. Uh, keep it. Uh, just, just fucking keep I us guess, in your hearts. Keep us. I don't know. Keep it. That was so lame. Yeah, I know it was. Oh, it, was thanks, it was super lame. Thanks for yeah. listening and thanks for watching and commenting and calling in. Yes, and winning. Shirts. Okay. Yeah, and winning shirts. You uh, won stuff. Yay, yay. people. Okay, so uh, and keep the pop we will see you next point. week. The point, uh, thank you again for joining us, and uh, we will see you next week. As always, make life epic. Yeah. Does and he like, want to And like Jay rape? said, Bill Cosby he eats like a lemon, and he makes that face. Like, yeah, okay. All like right. a sour face. All right, catch you guys later. Bye. See you next week. Bye. Bye. Dear Mr. President, there are too many states nowadays. Please eliminate three. I am not a crackpot. Oh, wow, that was terrible. Hasta la vista.
baby. Go! That's my only real motivation, is not to be hassled. Not the fear of losing my job, but you know, Bob, it'll only make someone work just hard enough not to get fired. And, and I'm so sorry, sorry, we're out of time. Bye. You are the weakest thing. Goodbye. Please leave this office. Do we get any sort of souvenir? Get out of my office! Oh my God, I feel so good. Oh yeah, oh, oh, slow down, oh yeah. Oh yeah, who's your daddy? That's all, huh?